vegan wife life thank you so much for coming back to my channel today I'm going to be cooking and reviewing one of the meals from chip and kale and today I'm going to be cooking the African peanut stew let's get started so I'm just letting my rice soak and now I'm cooking my broth I'm just letting the veggies simmer with the curry, um, but this is so easy. Literally, you just follow the directions. All right, so the African peanut stew is done cooking. I'm about to try it, and I'm really excited. It smells so good. Um, the only difference is I added peanuts to it, like the last 10 minutes, so it wouldn't get too soggy. Um, peanuts didn't come with it, but I added these from Trader Joe's just because that's I really like that in African peanut stew, and then I added a little bit on top. Um, but other than that, everything in this recipe is what I was sent in the meal from Chip and Kale. And it was so easy to cook, literally, you just follow the directions, everything is all portioned out for you and ready to go, um, so there's literally no prep work at all, it's so easy. Um, so yeah, here's what it looks like. Mm. Peanuts add a really nice texture to it, a nice crunch, um, so I would definitely recommend it. Um, that's the only thing I would add to this, is the peanuts. But it is so good. You can taste the peanut butter. All the spices come together so nicely. Um, it's definitely a nice, hearty, comfort type meal. This is hands down probably one of my favorite African peanut stews that I've had. Um, like I said, the only difference is I would add the peanuts just because I like that texture. Um, and I think it adds like a nice, nice touch. So overall, I would give the African peanut stew from Chip and Kale a 9 out of 10. Um, it tasted really good. It was delicious. It was a warm, comfort type meal with all the right seasonings. And it was so easy to make. Literally, they do all the work for you and just put it all together. All you have to do is follow the instructions and everything's prepped for you. It's, it's so easy. Anybody could do it. Um, why I didn't give it 10 out of 10 is just because of the, I would have liked the peanuts to come with it. Um, I did add my own just because I like that texture, but even without it, it would still be amazing. So I'm so full. It was, again, so good. Such a good meal. Even my non-vegan husband enjoys it. So that tells you something right there. So the first meal was definitely a success and I look forward to the other meals and I hope you do too. And also let me know down below if you are interested and if you have any questions or anything like that I can try to answer them for you. So yeah I will be posting more videos. I have I believe four other meals to make from Chip and Kale and I will be posting my review on each recipe. So look forward to that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. And thank you so, so much for watching. It does mean the world to me. And so you don't miss out on any of my videos, any of the Chip and Kale videos that are coming out, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the like button um, to let me know that you like these type of videos and if this was helpful. All right, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.